the topic before us today is my reward with me. I'm honestly speaking, a lot of people have spoken to it, including our IDC. So there are certain things I'll be saying that you have heard before, and then I, I will not go deep into that, but I believe that there's something God, the Holy Spirit, still wants to add to us today. And we are going to have it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Revelation chapter 32, verse 12. The Bible says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his reward shall be. You know, there's something I love about God. God is a father indeed. From this scripture, I could see something in the heart of God. God is not like that. God is not like our Holy Spirit that is looking for our. We can, when I say policemen, I'm talking about first men generally, and of course not people that are really Christians that know them. They are looking for your way, they will see that you are going in the wrong direction, they will help you to enter very anyway, well, so that you can pass, they can fight you. God is not like that. God is a father. God is a father. And attributes of a father, part of the attributes of a father is that he will, he, he will motivate you. He will motivate, he will prepare you for something and motivate you to have it. And that's what the Bible is, that's what God is saying here. He's just so speaking to John on the, on the matter of fact of God with the story. Now, the first word there is behold. Behold means to look intently. That means you have to, you have to consciously look. You have to, consci you have to consciously look in that direction. And anytime the word of God says behold, that means that thing is very, very important. And God wants us to be old, number one, that He's coming. This year, God is coming. Amen. I say your situation, God is coming. Amen. He said He's coming. He said, Behold, I come. That is, that is God speaking. God is coming. That's the first thing we need to be old. Number two thing we need to be old is that He's coming quickly. Maybe your reward has been delayed. That prayer point has lingered. That request has been there, no response, but God is coming for you today. Yeah. He's coming for you this year, starting from today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And he said, I am not coming empty and dead, I am coming with lots of rewards. Yeah. These rewards were manufactured in heaven, but they are not going to be used in heaven, they are going to be used here. Yes. And it's for you and I. So we are candidates for God's reward. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, Beyond, I come quickly. And my rewards are with me. They are God's reward that He wants to give us. He doesn't want to take it back. Praise the Lord. And now put a condition. He said, I will give to every man according to. There are conditions. We know God is a giver. Yes or yes. yes. But beyond that, God is a rewarder. There are two different things. When you say give, when you say uh, somebody is a, is a giver, when you talk about gifts, gifts are given according to the benevolence of the giver. It doesn't matter the irrespective of the attitude of the receiver. Yes or yes? You don't want to give. And God is a giver. He gives everybody. Both male, female, unbelievers, wicked people, righteous people, he gives them. For instance, all of us are here as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, um, because God gave us. He gave us the gift of life. Yes or yes? I don't know how many people pay how much for breathing. We are here today. He gives the rain, he gives the sun. So God is the giver, it's established. He gave so much that he gave his only begotten son. Praise the Lord. But beyond that, God is the rewarder. When you talk about reward, rewards are given according to what the receiver did to please the giver. Praise the Lord. According to what the receiver did to impress the giver. You work for rewards. It is not a gift, you work for rewards. Praise the Lord. So he's coming with his reward. He's coming with his reward. When God says he's coming, he's not saying it to, to impress us because he's God. Let God be God and all men be liars. Whatever he says is what he's going to do. And that is why I have assured you. I am, I am saying assured you today that it doesn't matter the issues of your life. God is coming for you to give you solution. This is chapter 34 in the name of Jesus. Can I have a resounding amen to that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, like I said, rewards are given in recognition of service, in recognition of contributions made. Now, the question is, what contribution are you making? That is what God wants in you. Mm. That is why you and I are here today. Because God wants to prepare so that we can position ourselves to be qualified for the rewards He's giving, He's bringing. Because He's not going to give everybody, He's going to give according to. Say with me according to. According Say it like according to. According That's how God is 
going to give the reward. Praise the Lord. Now, there are, so this year, like I like this is said, this is our year of rewards. And I want you to settle in with us because God said you can do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, there are three things among other things that God is going to reward this year. There are three things God is going to reward this year. So number one thing God is going to reward this year, as the Holy Spirit has impressed on my heart, is that God is going to reward dedication. God is going to reward dedication. When I talk about dedication, I'm talking about being diligent. Now, dedication to fellowship, to worship, to prayer, to fasting, all of those things. But I'm not talking about the whole fellowship, I'm talking about your own life. Your dedication to fellowshipping with God on personal ground, God is going to reward it. Praise the Lord. That's the first thing God is going to reward. Because as far as God is concerned, it is your person in faith before your performance. Praise the Lord. It is your person's first before your performance. God is interested in you, what you have to offer. Praise the Lord. So God is going to reward diligence. He's going to reward our diligence. And that is why I'm going to, I will go to that our popular scripture. Hebrews 11 chapter 6, the Bible says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God, if that comment, mark that word, comment, comment means that somebody that keeps coming, do you go to God? I'm not talking about jointly, you know, fellowshipping and, and praying and raising hands and lifting hands and all of that. Personally, do I go to God? If that comment, God is going to reward our um, dedication in His presence. Praise the Lord. Saying that comment to God must believe that He is. And that is a reward that I'm not talking about all of those ones now. But that is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Seek him. You know, seek. seeking him is not a communal thing. It's a personal thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are seeking the Lord, it has reward. Seeking God has reward. Then your prayer time, your personal prayer time, then take it time to pray, then take it time to worship, then drink, then take it time to fellowship with God, then take it time to read his word. Even to fast. Praise the Lord. It has a reward. So God is going to reward dedication this year. God rewards those who seek Him, not just in communal way, but personally. So if there's anything you are adding to whatever you have gotten here today, is that you need to increase your seeking the Lord on personal ground. Because it is your work with God that will give value to your work for God. The reason why they are still, um, they are still pampering you, encouraging you, you know, find you goody goody, so that you can do what you want, what you are supposed to be doing in the fellowship. It's because you are not working with God, because you respect. That's the truth. Because if you are truly working with God, that love in the place of fellowship, in the place of personal fellowship now, is going to propel you to do more than you yourself can imagine. Praise the Lord. So God is going to reward the education. God is going to reward the education. It's going to reward dedication. If you truly work with God effectively, you will then serve God effectually in his serving well. Praise the Lord. So that's the first thing. So tell your neighbor, behold. God is coming this year. God is coming this year. To reward your dedication. Praise the Lord. Number two thing God will reward this year. Number two thing God will reward this year. Before I go into that number two thing, let me add one more scripture. And that is Psalm 34, 10. The Bible says, The young lion do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. That means they shall not lack any good thing. Yes. That means somebody that seek the Lord, look at that one, seek the Lord, that is dedicated in fellowshipping with God. Somebody that seek the Lord is already a candidate to have every good thing. Yes or yes? yes. That's what the Bible is saying. They that seek the Lord shall not have anything good. So number two thing that God will reward this year, it cannot fail. God will reward faithfulness. Mm. Say with me faithfulness. Amen. God will reward faithfulness. Amen. Faithfulness as reward. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness as reward. You know, faithfulness means doing what you are supposed to do.
supposed to do, as that's what you are supposed to do, the way you are supposed to do it. That is the literal, that is the layman, or that is the simple definition I can give faithfulness. I want to read Matthew chapter 24. Jesus here was speaking. He said, Who then is a faithful and wise servant who is Lord as made ruler over his household? To give them meat in this city. Look at that word. It's faithful and wise. Of course, faithfulness and wisdom, they go together. Praise the Lord. Faithfulness and wisdom go together. They will, they will be found wise in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 24, 45. The 46 says, Blessed is that servant who is Lord, when he shall come, or when he cometh, shall find so doing. The question is, Will God find me so doing? Ask yourself. God has placed you. Look at that servant. God has given him things to give his fellow servant in their this season. Will God find us faithful doing those things? Praise the Lord. As a leader, will the Lord find us so doing when he comes with reward? That means the people that he doesn't find doing. He will not go to the world, he will not go back into the world. Is that it? Is that not it? Yes. They will not be in that category in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, a very good example is the servant we saw in Matthew chapter 25. The master was going. The master was going. And when he was going, he decided, okay, let me give them these talents according to their capacity. He gave one five, he gave one three, he gave one two. You know the story. Now, the first thing I want us to know is that God gave everybody. The master gave everybody, isn't it? So also, every one of us here seated, God has given us things that he wants to, he, want, he expects us to multiply for him in different capacities. Yes or yes? And no, no one is superior or inferior to the other. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to look at that. God gave them all. There are things God has given us all here. Yeah. Number one, he gave us time. We, look, we saw it when uh, this slide was being presented. By our neighbor, uh, mama in the house. You know, he gave us time. It was everybody here has 24 hours. Nobody has less or more. Yet, you did it. Mm -hmm. There are things God gave us equally. There are things God gave us in very form, but he gave everybody. And may I say that for people that always have business, to have one complain or the other, these three people, they have things to complain about. The three of them, and I will show us. They are things to challenge them. They are things, they are challenges to contend with. If one with five could have said, okay, I have so much, I can be complacent. That is a challenge. But he, nonetheless, he went to work. The one with three could have said, why did you give me two? Why did you give me two when you gave somebody five? I'm angry. How can you just say I should be ushering when somebody can sing? How can you stop that you get a greeter? When somebody can preach, I am angry. But no, the person with two, irrespective of what he should have contended with, went ahead and walked with it. And the person with one, we saw what happened to him. He decided to complain and did all the complaining. My brethren, my sisters, if there's anything you should run away from this life, run away from excuse. What did I say? Run away from excuse. Why? Because excuses will exclude you. That will not be you. Yeah. Excuses naturally exclude. When there are goody goodies, and they say, Auntie, oh, if you are able to do this, you have all these goody goodies. And somebody said, Oh, if you today I woke up at the wrong side of the bed and I'm not doing What happens? Will the master say anything? No. He has already excluded himself from the goody goody that God has in store. But that will not be us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So God is going to reward our faithfulness. God is going to reward our faithfulness. Now, what is the reward of faithfulness? I want us to look at it. There are several of it, but I'm going to pick one, pick one scripture to cover that. And that is Matthew, that, that Matthew chapter 25. The same thing was repeated in verse 23, but I'm going to read straight to one. The Bible says, It's not said unto me, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou art been faithful. Look at that word, faithful. Because he has been faithful. Over a few things. I will make thee a ruler over many things. 
enter into the joy of the Lord. So faithfulness will bring promotion into our lives. That area where you are believing for, maybe your work, maybe your career, maybe your business, you want another level, just go and serve God. Go and work for God and be faithful at it. You'll be surprised how you will bring promotion. Faithfulness will bring promotion and faithfulness will bring joy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So practically, how can we how can we, how can we work for God faithfully at our different chapter levels? Attend attendance of meetings. Encouraging ladies. We have had a lot, no lot. Just go and apply all those things that we have had today. In the training, in the demonstration, in the charges, you know, in the comments, in the contribution. A lot has been given to us. If that is God investing in us, those investments will not be wasted in Jesus' name. Because the investment in that person with one talent was wasted. That was why. That was why he was cast into where he was. All his days to have reasons to cry and weep with gnashing of feet. That will not be us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So number two thing God is going to reward this year is faithfulness. And number three thing God will reward this year, which is very, very important. Number three thing God is going to reward this year is our motive. Say with me, motive. 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 What is motive? Motive is the underlying reason or underlying factor for doing a thing or for saying a thing. Let me tell you, God is pure. And it's only pure service that will be rewarded. Because before our work will be rewarded, it will be, it will be vetted by God himself. It will be scrutinized and see whether it should be approved. Because until it is approved, it will not be rewarded. That's why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, that let us come and serve God acceptably, because it's possible to serve God in an unacceptable way. Our work will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. So God is going to, so God is going to uh, reward our motive. He's going to reward our motive. What is behind that thing you are doing for God? It is possible for somebody to serve God and serve God out of pride. Somebody can serve out of, out of jealousy. Somebody can work for God out of envy. Somebody can work for God to prove a point. God is going to check the motives behind whatever we do. Somebody can be working for God and be complaining at the, at the, at the same time. God is going to check the motive behind whatever we do. God is going to check the motive because man is looking at the act. Why God is in the act? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That walk your day. Man is looking at the act. They are looking at this inside very vibrant. But God is in the act. That behind the vibrancy is a lot of complaints, a lot of bitterness, a lot of envy, it's a lot of jealousy, it's a lot of pride, it's a lot of strife. God will, God will check our motive. He will reward our motive. Man can see the sin, the sin, but God is checking behind the sin. That is the God we serve. Praise the Lord. Man can be applauding actions, but God is a praising motive. Praise the Lord. I pray that our work will not be disqualified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our work will not be disqualified in the name of Jesus. Amen. If it is not acceptable, it cannot be rewarded. And the truth is that if it is not in the law, it is in vain. We will not work in vain in the name of God. So as we are positioning ourselves, God, like I said, God told us ahead of us so that we can prepare, so that we can position well, so that we can be motivated. As we are doing all of that, let us know that God has standards. Praise the Lord. He's going to check our diligence and our dedication. He's going to check our faithfulness and he's going to check the motive behind whatever we do. And I'm going to read to us, you know, to establish that. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 15. The Bible is very, very clear. The Bible says, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work, of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he had built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. 
say to your neighbor, you will not suffer loss. Now say to yourself, I will not suffer loss. I will not walk in faith. I will not walk in the name of Jesus. You know? So that is the God we serve. We should know. We should know assuredly that God is coming. And he's coming with a lot of good things to reward us with. And this reward we are talking about goes round or spans in every end of our life. We have had a lot of testimonies of rewards. That is the God we serve. He rewards in different ways. You that you are complaining that you don't have what money can buy. God, God rewards with what money cannot buy. What about that Yenko? What about all those things that money cannot buy that God is doing for you? Praise the Lord. So God is going to reward us. God is going to reward us. And it's God is coming with rewards, and it will reward according to. And these are the things God will reward this year, amongst many other things. God will reward our dedication. God will reward our faithfulness. And God will reward our motive. Shall we rise on our feet, please? As we pray. Shall we rise on our feet as we pray? Let's take this song together. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do what only you can do. God of wonders, God of wonders. I want us to lift our hands unto God. God of wonders. Let's sing it from my heart. God, come and do. Because the God that we are talking about 
is not interested in anyone losing their rewards. He wants to give, he wants to keep giving and keep doing you good as you keep positioning yourself. Because he has all of those stuff in stock with him. He's not trying to buy them. He's not trying to look for them. So it is us that need to position ourselves. Right now, I want you to face somebody. I want you to hold somebody's hand. We are going to take this step on prayer. I want you to hold somebody's hand. And I want you to pray for that person. I want you to pray for that person. I want us to pray. Lord, help my sister to position herself for rewards for you this year. Help my sister. If that person is not praying for you, please give the person and face another person. Help my sister to position herself for rewards. Reward, if your reward is not good enough, 
The kind of the one God gives is the one that you cannot cover. Yes. It's not just the one that will be there and because I don't want people to know. No. The kind, the, the kind God wants to do for you or for me this year. The one that this cannot be eaten. The one that people will look out of our lives for people to use our life to test people on our way. And that is what God is going to do for us. Mm. So we're going to be praying. No, that will not miss my reward this year. No, no that will not miss my reward. Is somebody talking to God? No, that will not miss my reward. Lord, Jehovah, I give myself. I will not miss my reward. Now we know you want to bring it for me. And we have them in full name. And we have them in full name. And we have them in full name. Bring them all to the name of Jesus. Lord, that is the prayer. That is the help. That is the name of God. That is the name of God. I will not lose my word in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give myself to you. Lord, I will do it the way you want me to do it. My body will be right. Father, we get all my word is here. Everything, because it is your delight for me to do it. Lord, I will get all my word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are the Father. In the name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. And I have a responding name. In Jesus' name, we are praying.